briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1921, the New York Court of Appeals heard the case of Jacob and Young's Inc. v. Kent, focusing on whether a party must bear the full cost of replacement for a defect only if perfect performance in that regard was a condition of the contract. The court aimed to determine the most reasonable and probable assumption in cases where conditionality was unclear. The dispute began in 1914 when Jacob and Young's Inc. built a country residence for Kent at a cost of over $77,000. However, Kent refused to pay the remaining balance of $3,483.46, alleging that Jacob and Young's failed to adhere to the contract specifications. Kent had specifically requested reading pipes to be used in his home, but Jacob and Young's used pipes from Coho's and other manufacturers instead. Upon discovering the discrepancy in March 1915, Kent demanded that all pipes be replaced, which would have required tearing down the walls housing the piping. Jacob and Young's refused and requested a certificate for the final payment due. Kent declined, leading to a lawsuit. Initially, the court ruled in favor of Kent, but the appellate court later overturned this decision and granted a new trial. The appellate court found that the plaintiff's error was likely due to subcontractor oversight and not fraudulent or willful. Although evidence proving the defect's insignificance was excluded at trial, the appellate court affirmed their decision. A dissenting opinion, however, highlighted the plaintiff's non-performance and potential intentional negligence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.